Joining us now is J.P. Morgan, private bank, global head of equity strategy. It's rare that he's in New York City. We're happy to have him. Stephen Reese, he travels all the time. Great to see you. It's great to see you. Based on where the markets are, do we need to get, we were talking about it earlier, do we need to get tax reform to even hold at these levels? Yeah, I think for U.S. markets, for sure, uh, we're up about 8% year to date. We actually think that is justified based on the fundamentals of the U.S. economy and the very strong earnings growth that we've seen year to date. Uh, we're essentially at our price target for, for year, and we're actually slightly above that. I think from here, to get further upside, you do need uh, clarity of tax reform, when and, and how much that's going to be. Stephen, I want to ask you about uh, the, the earnings picture. So the numbers we're getting out of the S&P 500 companies that look pretty sure. good on a year-on-year -year basis. We just had some government data out last week, which were kind of soft quarter to quarter. Yeah. How sustainable is this profit run that we've seen uh, out of the American companies? We think it's sustainable for 2017. Surely the first quarter is going to be the best year-over-year -year growth. You've got very easy energy comparisons and strong dollar comparisons from a year ago. But as you progress throughout the year, I think the growth rate is going to decelerate a little bit. But we've modeled for that. And then heading into 2018, you should expect a lower earnings picture because you're not going to have that boost from the energy price rebound. But of course, there's, there's tax reform that could come through that could boost those, those numbers. So we think about this year, probably 8% growth. Next year is probably going to be closer to 5%. If we get tax reform, it could go up to 10%. Uh, that's why we still see, us, see upside in the market. So you really need tax reform to get this thing, to keep this thing going? I think so. And the multiple today is 17 and a half times. So that's essentially in line with historical averages. Uh, again, we think earnings are quite good, but I think from here you really need to see that, that boost from reforms. Instead, if you're going to put new money to work, do you, do you put it here or do you put it, say, in Europe, for example? We're still comfortable investing in the U.S. I think from a sector perspective, you want to focus on financials, places that can benefit from our expectations of higher interest rates. We still like technology for secular growth that's worked this year. But in terms of broad market exposure, we think Europe has more upside. Uh, the earnings picture there looks quite good. I think the sentiment still is quite negative. People are skeptical about all the elections, and it's underperformed the U.S. by over 50 percentage points since the recovery. But there has been a huge flood of money into Europe. There has this so year, this but it's year. still the very early stages. I mean, Europe is up 11 percent this year, but we think there could still be years of outperformance. And emerging well, markets, is, which have been doing poorly, have obviously done better. Where's, where's your focus in that? Yeah, we, we like emerging markets as well. We've been focused on Asia, ex-Japan, so looking at parts of the Chinese economy like technology, healthcare, consumer, some of the surrounding countries. The earnings story there looks quite good. Valuations are cheap. So we like emerging markets Asia, Europe over the U.S. at current levels. So the Fed's probably raising, almost certainly raising rates in a couple of weeks. Why isn't the market concerned about interest rates going up? Well, I think we're coming off of very low levels. And if you go back and look over history, when rates rise from very low levels to less low levels, uh, multiples actually stay where they are or move higher. So I think hmm. the market is comfortable with the fact that rates are moving higher for the right reasons earnings growth is good and there's optimism around potential reform. This is a short term call but with the 10 year yield it's, it's less than yeah. two and a quarter. Could you see a little bit of a sell off in longer term treasury debt ahead of that Federal Reserve? I, I rating think so. And push, a little push up in the I, yield I think there. so. And from an equity perspective we're avoiding the bond proxies. I think you want to be really careful about huh. buying those super high dividend stocks that have done so well. In the event that rates do start to rise, I think they could underperform. Stephen, it was great to see you. Good to As see you. As always, Stephen Reese. Great to I see you. Had, I hope you had a relaxing long holiday week. It was great. My parents came in. So oh, that's really awesome. Nice. So you deserve it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Come back soon. Thanks.